Uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm Jim Hanshin and uh, we have another speaker on uh, Li Qingcai. Uh, we are so glad to have uh, this talk this, in this event. And uh, we are from uh, NCHC Taiwan. So uh, today our topic is Gen3 Data Commons Deployment for HPC Cloud. So uh, this is our today. We have uh, our first one is we will get some introduction about NALEX and NCHC. The second one we will introduce uh, uh, Gen3. And the last one is Gen3 deployment in NCHC Cloud Resource. So, uh, NCHC, the full name is the National Center for High Performance Computing. So, uh, we are one of a national level research laboratory under RLX. Uh, we are Taiwan's only national level supercomputing centers. So, we support academia and industrial research. Uh, with uh, hardware and software advanced research and uh, patient development, including networking and uh, professional trainings. So, in the past 10 years, we built up our uh, mandatory uh, supercomputing computer in Taiwan. Our name is Tanya 1, 2, and 3. And uh, uh, we start to serve a uh, cloud platform. NetWCC since 2019. And we also three branch in Taiwan. Uh, in TWC platform, we provide a uh, uh, cloud uh, service in TWCC, for example, uh, computing and storage on demand, uh, big data analysis, and uh, containerized computing environment, and so on. So, Based on HT, HPC and uh, Cloud Platform, uh, SHC Bio team uh, provide some several uh, cloud service for uh, life science, medical, uh, agriculture. So uh, we start to survey a Gen3 search platform uh, since 2022. <coughs> so that's uh, why we involve this kind of uh, project. So we, I will give you some uh, Gen3 introductions. Gen3 is a data platform for building a data commons and data ecosystems. It consists of uh, several uh, open source software services. It supports healthy data eco ecosystem by enabling the interaction and the creating of a cloud-based data resource. It's powered by CTDS uh, from the uh, University of Chicago. It uses a uh, Apache license version too. <clears throat> so in Gen3, uh, you have several uh, features. Uh, it can uh, help the uh, health data e ecosystem. For example, the data, it has data photos, data comments, it's for the data repositories, and it's in its platform, is provide the cloud computing, large scale processing, and some workspace, for example, Jupyter Notebook, Python uh, R. Also, so uh, in Gentry architecture, it includes database, search engine, and the storage and the computing. So I have a, a short uh, videos can. Uh, Will be uh, demo some gentry environment. It will be easy for you to to understand. The Gen Three Data Commons platform allows researchers to manage, analyze, harmonize, and share large biomedical data sets to accelerate their research. In this video, we will introduce some of the technology that powers the Gen Three Data Commons platform. Gen Three is not just a data commons software stack. It offers unique features specially suited to the next frontier of data science, data ecosystems, comprised of multiple interoperable data commons. Fence provides authentication and authorization. It allows users to view controlled access data Allows researchers easily submit data, which are quickly validated, sorted, and sorted for it to be a model. Peregrine allows users to go to common 
certain levels of metadata in order to create data sets and virtual programs that can be downloaded and analyzed using pre existing tools and the tools created over the GenPay API. One of these tools is a user friendly application called Wisdom, an interactive data portal that allows researchers to see the explore, submit, and download the data. Finally, all GenPay services are open in GenPay application programming interface or API, which allows users to create new applications, combine power Okay, it's a very short demo video. Uh, you can find it in uh, on YouTube. So I will very quickly skip uh, this uh, features in the site. For example, so the list of all SSO and uh, data. You can uh, design your data and the data schema in Gen3 system. So you can own your data models and. Uh, uh, you can user can uh, use the file and data upload to do a data submission into the registry platform, and uh, 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 it provides the data dashboard and the sharing by data filter. So it will be easier to uh, index the data the user want the uh, what user want to do, and it also provides a workspace to analyze your data. It also provides the API and key. To support use a uh, uh, RESTful API to use the Gen3 platform systems. So uh, we talk about the first part. We will, uh, we want to talk about Gen3 deployment in NC2 cloud resource. In this slide, uh, we give you some comparison uh, between two native Gen3 deployments. The first one is a cloud deployment, uh, so AWS only, uh, and second one is Docker Compose version. In cloud deployment, uh, it will be easy to scale up and uh, it support fully function for Gen3. But uh, it needs more resource requirement and uh, complex deployment procedures. And it also highly dependent on AWS service. So it did not support uh, build uh, deployment deployed on, uh, in GCP, Azure, this kind of a uh, cloud platform. Uh, in Docker Compose, it will be easy to deployment, so it need less resource requirement. So it also available for single node. But uh, it it not longer up to date, and uh, it has a limitation functions of the Gen3. So our goal is to provide a self uh, self controllable. The kind of, uh, deployment procedure on the NCC cloud resource. The second one is we want to integrate all size HA high ability service, for example, HA DB or Linux search cluster. The third one is we want to enhance Docker Compass version for our uh, testing, training, usage. So we talk about next, we talk about uh, Docker Compass enhancement. So in this slide, uh, we can see the Gen3 uh, original microservice dependency. So it present, you can see uh, some of the microservice have a duplicate dependency. It will cause the, this, this service start become unstable. So we want to fix it. The third part is we want to uh, separate some uh, microservice from outside. So we can use the uh, power uh, uh, resource on the external. The third one, we, we want to add some new uh, function into Gen3 uh, cloud system. It will be easy for us to maintain it. So for Docker Compose version, we do some improvement. For example, uh, we update the new in image version and we simplify the service dependence in and become a late, uh, this will be, uh, they will make the service style become uh, more stable. And we also improve microservice style procedures. And we uh, add some uh, new plugin, for example, PG admin 4 and uh, manifest service for uh, uh, database management and uh, uh, data tech and bunch. We also separate the database and the index service 
to use an external service. And we also make a, a TLCC uh, VCS snapshot. It will be easy to use in the NCHC uh, cloud platform. So for current, state, current status of uh, our Docker version compares, uh, we have an NCHC testbed uh, built in NCHC TWCC VCS, VCS means virtual computing service. We integrate objects storage as using a TWCC cost. It's a similar regime with the S3. And uh, we have a, a SHC Docker Git repository. Uh, you can see the uh, Git repository it's, uh, uh, link. So uh, we, there, there are two ways to use the SHC Gen3 Docker resource. The first one is you can use the native deployment from GitHub. The second one, you can use the uh, plugin play some uh, very similar with a service on demand by using TLCC uh, snapshot. So uh, there's a Docker compressed version we, we do for the uh, Gen3 enhanced. The second part, we will talk about Gen3 uh, Kubernetes deployment. We will switch to uh, each side. Hello, this is Rich Inside, and uh, I will continue introduce the Gen3 uh, Kubernetes deployment. So the Gen3 deployment uh, lays, uh, they support big three uh, cloud service like uh, Amazon and uh, Google Cloud and uh, Europe, and they also support OpenStack. Yeah, but but this year we we try to uh, set up Gen3, but uh, we are only uh, make it work on uh, database and uh, follow the standard follow the document and the standard steps like like the document here first one we should prepare the database service like the database and the, the virtual machine and the network and also other like the object storage the, and then we prepare the patient of the leg is useful uh, the management the Gen3 platform and uh, install a Gen3 command and uh, based on this command we can deploy the Kubernetes and then they have some uh, Terraform script already here so we just run it and uh, the Kubernetes should work well and then we uh, push the Gen3 service uh, and then install the service and they work well with the Kubernetes since that we uh, we have we try to uh, move the, the kind of service from database to to our our cloud service like which we, uh, is based on open state and other open source. Why we do that? Because um, it, uh, because some data provider they very care their subject data and they do not allow that kind of data in the public area like the public cloud. So we have to build a private cloud and uh, we try to understand the architecture and the moving from public to private. So we we uh, we check all um, microservice and the related uh, open source and the service. Like uh, we have to run a Postgres DB, Elasticsearch, and the object storage. Of course, related that, that kind of service all of that is, uh, is open source. So so it's easy to migrate from database to, to our, uh, any private cloud. And uh, we also have a making list to, to what you want to replace the service. And uh, in, time, in our center, as you see, uh, we have a, a cloud service key, high key keying. And uh, actually it's based on the open source of the stack. And uh, we, unfortunately we do not have the RDS but we can uh, create a prosper DB by ourselves. And uh, we also have some like uh, index search. And, uh, we also use the key clock, uh, which is very important uh, component to support the auscultation, yeah, because we should prepare the data as well. And uh, we still have some service cannot uh, make it. Uh, some part we cannot find open source solution, but some we we know the solution, but we should not have time to, to page the code. 
uh, but we still uh, make it work on our uh, infrastructure so we can run the, the Gen3 service in, in our country in our center and uh, the, the we have some uh, page and the uh, related code you can see here we have we all we, we push uh, we contribute to the code in the save to github so you can access that and uh, currently um, in Thai, in in my center we have a same provider so we use kickup to just change the the different protocol for authentication this is the main contribution is the first contribution. The second contribution is we have a change to uh, link the data. So uh, follow the standard process, the user just open the container, select the file, and the file is already in the container automatically. User don't need to upload or, or download the file and then keep the data in that container inside. Um, so, uh, we so a user can choose uh, many kind of different uh, container service and uh, currently some people uh, some research can do did their research well yeah this was our, uh, our uh, contribution and uh, thank you and uh, we have a boost so if you have interesting please here thank you thank you very much